help Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Continue the delegitimization of Nigerian government. We must not allow that. It is not one person thing, please. If you are thinking, is hey, let us watch uh, Simon Abraham, he will fail. It is about you, dear friends. It is about you, the Igbos. If you don't come out that day, Hope Zodema will not kill you. His military will not kill you. Police will not kill you. And they will not count you. It is better that he did not see anybody and he declares himself governor. Then the whole world will know Nigeria as the big joke of the time. Let us even disgrace them for once. Don't come out. Let me read what our Prime Minister just tweeted. He said, breaking the legitimization of Nigeria government within Biafra territory continues. He said to stop Nigeria from conducting fraudulent election in Biafra is to stop the genocide. And Biafra people have uh, resolved to stop Nigeria from conducting any fraudulent election in Imo State. Imo State is Biafra and is divided into three states. Olo State, Okibwe State and Owere State. These three states will be under six to six curfew. Six to six curfew from 9th of November to 12th of November. There will be no movement of any kind. We must expel the killers of our people from Imo State. Signed, Simon Eber Njoko, Prime Minister of Biafra Republic Government in Exile. That is just an order given to us. Who will implement this order? It is you, it is me. It is my mother in the village, it is your father in the village. Tell them, tell your brothers, those that are looking for 1,000 naira to collect from Hopo Zodema, they are the ones destroying Biafra land. Yes, we must have to expel the killers of our people because they have already come in numbers. I saw them yesterday myself, coming with armor tanks and Hope was fanning himself. He was very happy that, oh, he is bringing those that will kill Biafras, the more and the more. See, we will not allow that. The truth is that we will not allow that. If you stay at home that day of curfew, please stay clear from the road. Make sure you stay clear because that is the only way you can contribute to this delegitimization of Nigerian government. If you stay clear from the road, stay on your own. Stay, sleep, sleep, rest. You don't need to come out. If the road is by like this and nobody is there, I am telling you the shame enough will be so much that Hope Zodema will run away from Igbo land. The shame and loan will bring about the collapse of Nigeria government in that area of, of uh, Southeast. Do you understand what we are saying? Have you, can't you reason that when, you, when they call for election like this and there is curfew by the government of the day, which is Biafra Republic government in exile, when they call curfew, when we call for curfew and you stay away from the road, when they come out and they did not see anybody, and it was just the Nigerian government in their uniform, the military and police and DSS and Hopo Zodema, <laughs> what do you think will happen? It is the full delegitimization of that government. It is the full disgrace of that government. Remember when they deceived us? Eh? Come and vote for Soludo. Soludo will help us to get Biafra. Soludo will fight for Igbos. Soludo will do this, Soludo will do that. At the end of the day, what are you seeing from Anambra State? Are they not the ones fighting against the release of Nandikano? Are they not the ones deceiving themselves that telling you that, oh, we are working, we are working, we don't want to you know, tell you what we are doing on the ground to release Nandikano. They are not doing anything, they are sleeping. All of them are waiting for turn by turn when they will be voted for. It is turn by turn. Like, why they did not allow Nandikani to be released is because of this election of uh, Hopu Zodema. So by the time we disgrace them, we did not come out at all. Number one, why you should not come out is because you are angry that Ohamadike is still in DSS custody. That's number one. Number two is that Ohanes indeed will refuse to commend Biafra Liberation Army set in place or even to condemn it. I say two things. Is either they commend it or they will condemn it because they cannot sit on the wall. As old as they are, 
and Wanya were as old as you are. You can't be sitting on the wall because of your brown envelope this side. Remember, there is freedom the other side. Freedom and brown envelope, uh, uh, choose one. We can see vividly and clearly that you have all chosen the brown envelope, which is this paper money that doesn't have value. It does not have value, it's just like paper. See, freedom is key, and freedom we must get. The majority you should remember carries the vote, and the majority of the youth, they want freedom, because their shops already have been burnt down, and you said nothing, and you did nothing. Saying it and not doing anything means nothing to the person, the victim, all right? Like they, sh they bomb a shop right now, and you just come, you say something, and you go without any contribution or any compensation or any plan for a way I can move on. I will look at you as somebody that has not come, and that is how it is. Hmm. Listen and listen good. The legitimized Nigerian government in Biafra land. Do not come out. Cough you, 6 to 6. Unless they will do that election by 10 p.m. Okay, now will you now start coming out by 10 p.m.? For who and for what? Do you know how many youths that, that Hope Zodema have, has killed? He has, he has sent many to judgment. He has a bubago. Do you remember? A bubago was disbanded because a bubago was used as a tool against our people. They were killing our people. I know. I'm just reminding you because our people forget so easily. They forget a lot of things so easily. And that's why we are here. We are called the media warrior. Biafra fighters. We are the one giving you go ahead order what to do and what not to do and why you should do what you should do and why you should not do what you should not do. So, if you see somebody that is advising you, my dear, you are favored. Many people don't have people that are advising them, but Biafra's have. Now they kind of did it and washed our brain, washed foolishness come out from our body. You watch that ignorance come out from our body. We dig it deeper. We get sense for it. That is why till today, I said, if you are still sabotaging the effort of Biafrans, what do you stand to gain if Biafra did not come? Or what do you stand to lose if Biafra comes? What is that? You have to drop it on your comment station. There is comment section there. Just drop it. I want to get your opinion on this very video. Thank you and God bless you all.